Hey everybody, it's Glider Cannon. It's time to play. We're back in Complex Sky. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. We've got plenty of cash. Pollution's doing good. Pollution's going to get even better once our research completes. And uh, I noticed kind of last episode towards the end that our research seems a little slow. And I'm wondering if we add a research laboratory, if that helps. Now, let's see if there are upgrades to the research laboratory. We haven't gone in here in a while. Okay. Assembly zone expanded. Plus three production lines. Okay, we've got the resource to do that. We can do it. What's the next one? Storage platform. Plus seven storage slots. So... Let's see. We've got tons of these stone cloaks, right? And those are being used basically just for the research. <laughs> so let's add a line for the research assemblies. In fact, let's, can we add two lines? No, I guess, oh, look at that. Each one takes up two lines. I didn't know that worked that way. But if you look over to the right of where my mouse is, it does say electricity 40, water 15, and then production line 2. So it does show it's going to consume two production lines. But we might as well do that. We have such an abundance of the, uh, the stone cloak things that we might, as well, uh, we might as well produce more weak science material. So let's see. That may actually in itself uh, increase our research speed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what determines that. Let's see. Does this show? I know we did some, we completed some research that was supposed to reduce the cost of the research. But I don't know that we researched anything that will speed it up. Because it is a little slow. Let's, uh, let's do this upgrade. Three production lines. This costs us 15 gears. We've got tons of stone slabs. We've got plenty of wood. It's going to consume more workers, and we are a little little short of workers because of uh, my mistake setting up our second rice farm. We kind of starved everybody out for a little bit of a stretch, and I think we lost a lot of people. But hopefully that will recover pretty fast. I'm going to go ahead and do this upgrade. Boom. Let's see, and it opened up another one for us. Connector module. Now, I don't know what this is. It sounds pretty cool. Let's see if it's in the building, um, the building index or library, the building library. Do we have connector module? Let's see. I'm just looking through the list here. I'm kind of moving my head away from the microphone. That's why it gets quiet because uh, the, these, the writing here is so tiny that I can hardly read it. Okay, modular... Worker house, hard mining, wood collector, water, iron assembler, modular pack, mining machine utility connector. Nope, 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 nope. Basic assembly, research laboratory, utility service assembler. I don't see that anywhere. Let's see. Let's uh, get rid of the building library. This guy, connector module, plus two module slots. I guess it's just uh, not really a building. It just allows you to expand with modules. And we don't have any, really. I don't see any way to attach anything on here yet. We must have to do some more research. Then there's this bottom one, which gets us seven storage slots. I guess that doesn't hurt. It does take two more workers, though. We don't really need... Oh, this is the maintenance. Yeah, it takes two workers. I don't think we need it. But let's take advantage of the extra production slot. Uh, this will consume workers as well. But let's uh, let's go for it and increase our production of the uh, research material. That could speed up our that this could actually speed up our research. I don't know if that's been if we've been in shortage. I imagine we are. I imagine we are. This is taking four weak science every cycle. So this one is really expensive. But that should help, man. We could even do a fourth line. Uh, 
we've got the space to do it. And we've got plenty of these stone cloaks. Let's go for the gold here and we'll just see what happens. We can always get rid of these lines. And if they back up, they back up or they stop because they don't have enough resource, then that's fine. We'll get notified of that and we can fix it. We got these events that kind of pop up every once in a while here at the top, the pluses. I think these are just, as we hit targets, I think these are pollution targets we're hitting. We get, uh, we get some bonus credits. That's my guess. We are a little in the negative here on pollution, but I think once this research completes, we've got a little ways to go yet. Still got a ways to go. Uh, what is that? 30, 32 more cycles to go. Uh, I think that's going to put our pollution back in the green. So I'm not too concerned. We'll have to keep an eye on our workforce. Let's see how they're doing. Do they have what they need? Okay, we've got rice and consumer goods coming in. So that looks good. Yep, rice and consumer goods. That looks like plenty. I think I think they're doing fine. Storage. We've got, we don't have any, well, we got a little bit of rice accumulating. We've got tons of consumer goods, right? And we're starting to uh, accrue the science material base. So this is going to be important for us. So that's good to see that. Tons of iron, got more iron than we need. I could probably take down one of our uh, iron miners because we just have, we have way more than we're using. And it's just filling up inventory. Where is that? This guy is doing iron. This guy's doing iron. This guy's doing copper. I guess we'll take it down one, right? These things, I think, consume energy and add to pollution. So let's, we got enough iron on hand. Let's, uh, let's get rid of one of these. Or before I do, <laughs> before I do, let's make sure we have enough iron plates. Could be we just need to increase production of something. Uh, we got 825 iron plates. That looks pretty good. Even copper looks is, is yeah, we don't even need all this copper. We're producing way more than uh way more than we can use. So here we've got stone and coal. Wow, these miners are very effective. Iron and iron will definitely take away one of the iron mines. Let's get rid of that one in the middle. I think I've only got one copper. Yep. Yep. So we'll leave the one copper. We are starting to produce the circuits that may start chewing through that copper a little bit more. For the longest time we were mining copper and I don't think we were really using it for anything. But now we are. So maybe, maybe it definitely makes sense to leave at least one. Let's see how we're doing in storage here. This looks fairly balanced. So we don't have too many copper coils, copper wires. So two to, two to one looks pretty good here. I was thinking about putting another circuit line down. We could do another copper and another circuit if we want, but let's wait for the workers to rebound. It's going to take a little time. But uh, I do think they'll come back. modules. I don't think I can build any more of these, right? I think we're just, we're absolutely, we don't have any more uh, space to place those. So that building is pretty much done. Let's look at the bottom of this apartment and just check for upgrades in case we miss anything. Nope. We're totally good there. And modular worker home. Yeah, we can't build any more of these. We don't have any more room. Um, pretty sure we don't have any more room to do that. All right. Same thing with parks and everything else. Let's look at the top half of this, our apartment building, any upgrades that we missed. We've got a park upgrade here. It's cost workers and maintenance. Our maintenance cost of water workers and mass. What does it do? Does it a uh, oh, hundred park? We're doing really good. Last time I checked on park, yeah, 531 available. I don't think we need this yet, so I don't want to spend it. 
spend the money and have the increased costs. It's not going to help our population grow. But they are slowly coming in. We're down 20 and down 3. Let's see what we could do. You know what we haven't done? Let's flip in. Uh, let's go ahead and flip. We haven't increased the uh, or added any modules to our under underground. It's not really underground, but our upside down, I'll call it, apartment here. Now, I think we did the upgrades, right? We came through and did the upgrades. Yes, we did. We just didn't do modules. Let's go ahead and put some more uh, worker houses here. We'll see what the problem is. Connect to the main building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the problem, the fellas? Okay, this should work. Isn't that the apartment? Do, do, do. Yeah, it is. So we've got it selected. Let me close that. Got it selected. Here's the module worker house. What am I missing? Connect to the main building. No condition when built nearby. So I'll use the T key here. Nothing is helping. It's not letting me build it. This could be a research thing. Right, let's see. It looks like I've got all the ingredients. Got plenty of wood, processed wood. I got plenty of plates, iron plates. House modules. We've got, let's look at the here. Yeah, we've got four house modules available. Now it could be just one of these things where it's like you gotta do some research before they let you build upside down. Hmm. Well, that seems like that should work. Let's see. We got 12 gravity. It's going to chew up. Let's just make sure that we don't have an issue with that. Yeah, we've got 2146 available. So we're not, we're not having any problems with the gravity engine. Huh. A little puzzled there. The only thing I can guess is we have to actually complete some research to be able to do that, to be allowed to do it. Let's look in the research tree just to see. Uh, here's an upside down. It looks like these ones with the little up down arrows have to do with building upside down. Okay, that is the utility service. Okay, apartments can now be built upside down. The operator tower upside down. Assembler foundry upside down. Huh. Seems like we should already be able to do it. Do it. I mean, the apartment is just a different building, right? The apartment is a different type of building. I should be able to build on top of the basic apartment. Not sure what the uh, issue is there. It's a little bit of a bummer because that's something we could easily, uh, easily do right now. Well, let's see our research. We've got a little bit left to go. Let's take a look at what we're going to do next. I think it's going to be this guy if we can yeah both these prerequisites i believe are met right and so this one takes oh this one doesn't even take the new science this one we were waiting on the saplings and the rice let's flip over and check our inventory and just see if we'll be able to do that one how are we doing on saplings and rice we did up that production saplings look at that a thousand we're at 1100 and rice is coming back we're at four well we're at 384 but uh once we get one of these rice upgrades going we should be in good shape in fact i could take down one of the saplings i wonder if i should do that let's do it for a bit let's get rid of one of the sapling lines we can always put it back Let's uh, go for more rice because we've got a lot of saplings in storage. So that should allow us to do some research that will increase the rice production. And then we won't uh, kind of be chasing our tail trying to have enough rice on hand. Okay, this one is enhance the rice farm production. Okay, we don't have it researched. We got to do these two first. 
This is the one I'm thinking of. We got plenty of saplings. We just need to get to 500 rice. We still have a bit more to go with the current research. Pollution control, where is that? So yeah, we're down to six more cycles. I think increasing the, uh, increasing our production of the weak science, I think did help speed this along. All right, let's take a look while we're waiting. <laughs> hey, we got some more workers. We're only at 16, 12% now, 16 people short. Let's look at our trade points, see if we want to do anything here. There's a research cost reduction. Let's do it. Let's just take this one. We're doing fine on pollution. We're doing fine on cash. Let's take this and maybe uh, that'll speed things up along even more. What else do we have down here? Maintenance. We haven't had to really bother with this too much maintenance. Everything is being kept up. Boy, look at all the money we're spending on maintenance. A thousand a minute, but we're still, we're still at 5,400 plus on income. This is just, uh, yeah, not much to see here. I don't think that's our quest. That's our corporation. We just looked at that city stats is interesting, but not much we can do with it. And we're waiting on workers to come in. I think we have plenty of housing. Yeah, we've got 15 spaces here. I really wanted to build up down there. Let's, uh, hmm. let's look at the research tree. We're almost done. Is there anything to uh, build upside down? Are like the apartment modules is what I'm thinking. You know, these might not be bad to do. This stuff that's just recipes, I think this is going to make things more efficient. This one, but boy, it's 44 cycles. I really want to get one of these rice ones in. Let's see if we've got the 500 rice yet. We're just about, there it is. That's done. Do we have 500 rice? Yes, we do. Let's do this quick, quick, quick research. Boom. There's the one with the rice. 500 rice research. Okay. We got that going. So we had this initial cost of 500 rice, 200 saplings. That's why I wanted to hurry up and get that in while we had the rice in inventory. Cool. That's going to get us more production lines, right? So we can throw down two more production lines of rice and maybe convert one of the existing or basically, oh, this is for both farms. So this gets us actually or more production lines. So maybe we'll add one of the sapling lines back and two or three more rice lines. And then we should have plenty of rice for the long term. And then a while ago, a few episodes, we were chasing down the boxed water. Where is that now? Did we ever research that? I don't see it here in the list. Where? Oh, there it is. What does this guy need? Okay, we got to do this wood thing. In order to do that, we got to do this thing. Didn't we already do this? Yeah, we did that. This one, I think, is ready to research. Raw wood, saplings, and dirt. And then the weak science. What does this get us? Tree plantation. Built on floating land. Three pollution clearing rate. Interesting. Plant fibers and raw wood. does take dirt. How do we get dirt? So we're going to have to research that just to get to the boxed water for some reason. <clears throat> and then we've got this one, which is assembling. What does this get us? Oh, just a bunch more parts here. Copper gears, iron sticks, tools, basic tools. And uh, yeah, iron sticks for that basic assembly too. This one's not bad. A hundred circuit boards and 200 iron gear wheels. Let's see. Uh, how are we doing on iron gear wheels? We've got 99. Can I craft these? Let's craft some of these. No, and I don't have 99. I have 30. Let's craft a bunch of these just in our local inventory. It may not be the most efficient way to do it.
All right, that farming's moving pretty darn quick. Happy to see that. How are these guys doing? Let's check our apartments for storage. That looks okay. And this one looks very good. Let's flip over and check the other one. Let's check the inventory on this guy. Looks good. Looks good. I don't know if we'll get to see the little levitating cars on this side. I guess they're just kind of using this transport tunnel to, uh, to get here. All right. We completed that technology. Let's one more time before we do anything. Let's see. Can I get... Why can't I put the house here? I really want to. I really, 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 really want to. Okay. It just says connect to the main building. Modular worker house, basic apartment. House support, maybe? No condition when build near the modular worker house level two. Close. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I'm confused as to why I'm not able to do that. Uh, it's a little frustrating to tell you the truth. And yeah, we did all the upgrades. There's nothing to upgrade here. Must be something obvious. You guys may see it as you're watching me play. That can happen. <laughs> but I don't see it. I don't see how I'm supposed to get that going. It just was so easy on the other side, right? You have to, didn't even have to think about it. You just plopped the thing down. Got the resources. Plopped it down. Let's click here and just see. Does this thing... Here, show us anything. Module of the basic apartment. Condition when, no condition when built near the modular worker house level two. This, this statement I don't really understand here. But yeah, it seems like it should, oh, we can build upside down. Modular worker house can build upside down. We're on a basic apartment. It says you can attach to a basic apartment and you should be able to build it upside down. Could be a bug. Still, you know, we're pre-release here. But uh, it seems like basic functionality, right? That seems like uh, something that wouldn't be buggy. It seems like something that would be hard to overlook. It's pretty core functionality in the game. So I'm assuming it's something I'm missing, to tell you the truth. I just don't know what it is. Just don't know what it is. We have all the resource. Just can't seem to get it built. All right. Well, we tried. Let's flip. Let's pick another research and then let's beef up our rice production since we just uh, unlocked some stuff that allows us to do it. We may want to go after this goofy thing. Just so we can get to the uh, boxed water. Let's do it. It's a little unnecessary. Well, we'll see. The tree plantation, it could come in useful. Come in handy at some point. And yeah, let's look at the rice. Do -do, and see if we can't augment this. This is... We should have see some extra production lines here. Yep. Nope. Where are they? Oh, do I got to do an upgrade? thought we had some extra production lines here. I thought that's what we just researched. But it only says three of three here. What am I missing? Is there a module? Yeah, there is. Rice field. Let's see. Where does that go? Can I put it on top? A floating land built inside the indicated area. So... It's a little interesting. So it says we can build it on floating land or artificial grassland. So I'm wondering if, oh, I wonder if I could, boy, it'd be nice if I could build it on top of this thing. Let's, let's take out this tree. 
Let's take out let's take out all this stuff. I need that tool. I'm gonna leave this uh maintenance what is this, tool warehouse. Although I could move it. I don't need to. This is a decent place. Let's slap some floating land next to this. It says we can build it on floating land. Let's just try. Right, there's a bunch of floating land. Let's click on a rice field or click on one of our factories. Can I build it here now? What's the problem, fellas? I don't see any pillars, so it should just go. Now, I may, my short materials, okay, 47 wood. That's easily solved, I think. Let's look at our basic inventory. We've got a, we only got tons of wood, right? Let's uh, build a bunch of this processed wood product. I've got tons of that coming. Here it comes. And let's pop down these rice fields again. There we go. Boom. And once we get the uh, materials, boom. Now it looks like I don't need to do much with, with these. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can put floating land on top. No, it looks like it needs to be on this plane, right? So, like, it needs to be, yeah, you can see it needs to be in that, that level. But it does look like I can extend out even further here. Let's do it. Let's go place some more floating land. We just do it like this. And I'm going to grab, I forgot which one I did. Does this say, let's see. Farm. Okay, we've already used two of the two modules. Let's just try and place it and see if it complains. Yeah, we don't have the modules. Good, but we'll use this rice farm and see if we can place two more. Oh, check this out. I like it. Now, can I do anything? What can I do here? Okay, that gave me the extra the extra production lines through four more. Nice. So that's eight more production lines. Cool. That was worth it. That research was worth it. All right. The tree nursery. I'm just, let's, uh, oh yeah, let's do the production lines before I get too distracted here. Uh, this is the one that's doing saplings. Let's get at least one more sapling line down. Maybe two. Maybe two. And then let's also do the fancy rice line. Some more of those. And then over here, let's do three more rice lines. <laughs> so that's a dramatic, dramatic increase in the rice production. So we'll keep an eye on it. It may be overkill, but boy, last time when we ran out of rice, man, our population went and headed for the hills and we are still trying to recover from that. We're paying the price. Paying a really big price, actually, because we are short workers all over the place. You got a production stop at the basic assembly. What's the problem? Circuits. And what is this guy waiting on? Wood. All right. I was a little worried about the wood. Yeah, we're going to need, we're going to need another assembly foundry. First one is down here. Let's see. Yeah, all the lines are taken up right now. Gears. Can we do gears somewhere else? I thought we could. Did I see that? No, not here. Well, I thought I saw the ability to do gears in one of these other buildings, but maybe not. It would have been this one, the basic assembly. I don't see it. No, maybe I was thinking of stone cloaks or something. Yeah, we need another foundry. Wish we could stack these. I don't think we can build them upside down yet. But maybe over here. I'd like to save that maybe for an apartment, right? Three by three. We could come further out. I don't see why not know if we run into traffic situation given that the trucks all manage themselves i don't think we're going to run into traffic problems i don't know if what we can do with let's see 
be nice if one fit here. Maybe it will. Factory, assembler foundry. Oh yeah, this is just a two by two. Perfect. Let's throw that on right now. And then uh, we'll call this an episode here. Let's get this done. It should be quick. Factory, uh, we want the basic assembler foundry. I need to put the foundations down. So I'll be careful not to forget that. And then, uh, all right, factory, assembler foundry. Uh, boom. Yeah, that's all connected up too, I think. We'll see. Are, do you have electric? No. That's all right. Easy to do. Easy, easy to do. Boom, boom, boom. Now you should be powering up here shortly. Did it not take? It took. Uh, what's the problem, fellas? I don't see the... Uh, oh, one more. Looks like I got to go one more. Uh, yeah, one more over. So let's do that. Boom. Now we're good. Up and running. And we need more wood, we said. So let's go do that. In fact, we'll do two here. We'll set up transport and we'll go to our other one and we will discontinue doing any kind of wood. That way we're not shipping wood all over. I think that helps save on the try on their distribution routes as well. What else? We had a wood shortage here that should get solved. We might do a third wood actually. And then this one was waiting on circuits. Uh, and that's probably, is that related to the wood? The circuits use wood too. So that might be the problem there. Where is the circuit? This is basic. Okay. Here's circuits production. Yeah. These guys are waiting on wood also. All right. No problem. Let's, uh, let's add more. Let's add more lines for that. At least one more. And then we can do some upgrading. We have the cash. We do. That gets us two production lines. Let's do it. What else we got? Uh, two more production lines. Minus five pollution rate. Let's do the pollution one. And then let's look at the production lines and do one more wood. That should do pretty good. It's hurting us on the workers, but that's, uh, I think that will help. That will help. All right. Well, let's wrap this one up here. Let me know what you think in the comments. We've come a long way. We've got a little bit built on the, on the flip side, but yeah, not too bad. We've had a few hiccups here on the population, but yeah, definitely let me know if you want to see more on the channel. Not sure how many more of these we want to do. Got plenty of games in my <laughs> plenty of games in the queue that I want to bring to the channel. So let me know what you think in the comments. And for now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. If we do one. <laughs> thanks.